are at Breezy Hill Stables in Thurmont, Maryland, looking at a horse named Bo Diddle, who ran his last race at Charlestown on what, Friday? Saturday? Thursday. Thursday, Thursday night. Um, and uh, Lorna Starkey called me, the owner, before the race and said they were going to retire him after the race, no matter what happened. And um, uh, he didn't do so well. Um, but he is very sound, cool legs. Um, we're going to take a look at his ankles in a minute because that's the biggest question about this horse. But he looks to be in very good condition. He's um, coming five, right? Or coming six. Coming six. Okay, and he's run 40-some 40, 40 races um, and uh, continued to, to place. And he got one win for you, right? Yes, he did. Okay. He got five wins total. He got one for me. Okay, five wins total. Uh, we'll walk first, give it a little, he's been turned out today, so which is why he's not running wild, probably enjoying, heads up, okay, Okay, so what I think we want to do is put him on the lunge line, maybe flex his ankles, because I want to see just how his ankles feel. Of course, here who has some, a um, lot of calcification uh, right on the, around the ankle joint, especially here and here. You can see a lot of it there. The interesting thing is that he raced on Thursday and there's no heat, um, and that he's been racing consistently on it. Um, we're going to flex and see. Um, sometimes that stuff isn't a problem. Oscillates that set, and it's on the outside, and not interfering with the movement of the joint. What really matters is what's going on inside the joint. So could you hold his head for just a second? I want to see if there's any flexion within his ankles. Come around this way. Some racehorses don't have much ability to flex at all. He actually has a fair amount of range this way. Let's look at the other side. So, yeah, actually I have four-year-olds that don't have this much range. He's um, got some decent feet on him, got some decent heel for a horse that was just running. He's got his racing plates on still. Um, so, what we're going to do I'm going to jog him once just so that he's jogging, and then I'm going to flex him and jog him after we flex him. See how he feels about that. Do you jog? Okay. So if you'll hold his head for just a minute, we're going to turn him this way. This is normally what the vet does, but we don't have a vet here, so we're doing it ourselves. And I'm going to hold the ankle for about 60 seconds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jog him. So I'll just drop it, grab the line from you, and trot away, okay? Okay. So he was clean on the other side, and let's off we go. pretty even to me. So that's a good sign. Um, one thing I might want to do is put him on the lunge line since he does lunge and try him on a circle. So I'm going to grab the lunge line real quick.
It's okay. It's okay, bud. So we're putting him on circles here, fairly small, to see if we can see any unevenness in front. A little bit excited about this lunging business here in this new environment. Three days off the racetrack. You're okay, bud. But I don't really see that he's uneven. I did the other direction. We could get real tough on him and do it on the hard ground, but I don't think that would make much of a difference since it's his ankles, not his feet, that we're looking at. <clears throat> so, he's a good looking horse, though, huh? I think so, but I'm going to get a little pregnant. Well, I mean, he's got, and, he, and he's nicely muscled for a horse who's been racing this long. I mean, some of them, you know, they get so tight that, uh, but he's, he's got a nice butt on him, nice shoulders, and nice muscle on them. Nice on his neck. I mean, he's well taken care of. And you know, you run your hand down his, his back muscles and he's not particularly sore through there for a horse that raced three days ago and ran 40 sometimes, you know, without a break. So, Bo Diddle, <laughs> I came in here and first thing I saw was his ankles and I thought, oh boy, I don't know. Um, but um, I think what we probably want to do is what anybody would do is um, see if we can find some x-rays of his ankles. Um, if necessary, maybe take some shots of his ankles and um, because that's the first thing anybody's going to want to see. But he flexes on them quite well. Um, he's sound three days after racing. I feel no heat in them three days after racing with no breaks. He's, um, he's sweet as can be. He's very, very you know, steady in his mind. Um, and his body otherwise seems like you know, it doesn't have serious aches and pains. Um, tell us why, when you got him, and why you got him. Um, I have always been a fan of horses and yeah. horse racing, and yeah. I read a lot about it and everything and enjoy yeah. watching it, and I just wanted to see it from the other side. I wanted to get more involved. Are you sure he's my... not a dog? Look at him. He's, yeah. he's sniffing all the dogs that have been... <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, I, That's okay. I just I wanted to learn more about uh -huh. a sport that I'm very passionate about. And, um, so you ride a little bit of Western trail riding, a little Western pleasure right. on another horse that you got off the track, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Claim him or you bought him? No, I bought him outright okay. from his previous owner. Okay. And, um, and you said he took you to the winner's circle once? Yes, he did. That was yeah. quite an experience. <laughs> he, is, he has really given me the full gamut. I mean, he's hit the board, got a dead heat. You have two, two dead heats with him, a dead heat for second and the uh -huh. dead heat for the win. So I got to go to the winner's circle, which was a wonderful one. I'm trying to put this microphone over so that she can talk into it, but you're not going to let me, are you? You're going to eat it. <laughs> See, I think it's a piece of peppermint because yeah. he is a peppermint fiend. Is he pep so did you make money on it? Um, he made money. I didn't. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. But was it worth it? Yes, well worth yeah. it. It yeah. was a very priceless experience. It was a lot of, I got a lot of joy out of this, a lot of joy. And now it's my turn to give back. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully this is going to work out because I think it would be neat to have a horse in the trainer challenge that does not have perfect legs because a lot of them coming off the track don't. Um, and something like that that might scare you a little bit. didn't have the kind of suspension 